Hey everyone, I'm Anastasia, your host for Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. And this week I'm gonna share with you how to set healthy boundaries with success. Healthy boundaries are a key component for our well being and our self care. So let's start with the top three. These are basically personal boundaries. It's going to be time, emotion, and energy. So, for example, time. What is violating your time? Have you set time for self-care? Maybe it's on technology for meditation. Or have you set time for date night or family time, game night? What is infringing upon that time? What are you allowing into that space that you are not being present for? Number two, your emotions. So if you're on social media, you're reading, um, you're scrolling through. How do you feel? Or you're reading texts or someone says something to you. Focus on your feelings because this helps you understand, okay, was the comment made to be hurtful? Was it intentional or non-intentional? And how do I feel about that? And when I'm looking at that, that will lead you on to the last boundary and that's going to be on your energy. What are the time suckers, the complainers? Because complaining is draining, right? So who is stealing your joy? Who is in your business? Who's even in your personal space when you're trying to work through the day? David and I have a saying for that and it makes it super fun for us. And we just say, get out of my nest. Let's get going to the five things that are going to help you identify why healthy boundaries are gonna be best for you. Number one, it helps define your identity. This means you are confident, not arrogant, not entitled, but you're confident on what is healthy for you. What are you allowing in your space? What are you allowing someone to, you know, if you don't like the way that you feel, is it time to set a boundary for that? If you don't like the energy that you are receiving, someone's in your business, is it time to have them get out of my nest? Okay, setting that also helps others identify what to expect from you. I gotta tell you, in a day where distraction and chaos and people don't know what to expect, how refreshing is that? That people know what to expect for you because you are holding yourself accountable, which leads us to number two. And that is holding health, setting healthy boundaries honors your needs and it also helps you be mindful of other people's healthy boundaries. Meaning we're not judging other people if their boundaries are not in alignment with yours. That leads us to number three, setting consequences for when someone crosses your boundary and being committed to the action. It's a good thing to say, yes, I'm gonna intend on doing that. Commitment to the action that follows up on the consequence that you set is key to the success of setting healthy boundaries. So what would that look like? That could look like unfriending somebody on social media. That could look like if you and a friend, um, you know, it just, you set your boundaries, you understand, and sometimes you have to end a friendship. Sometimes you end relationships, but that are some, those are some examples of what a consequence would look like. And that leads us to number four, respect. When you already define your identity, it means you're honoring your needs, you've come up with a plan, the consequences of what happens, and you follow through with that, whoa, respect. You don't have to be loved by everybody. You don't have to be liked by everybody to have respect. And number five, ask your partner, ask your friends, ask your kids what their healthy boundaries are and listen. Now let's go through an example of how in the world am I supposed to communicate this effectively? You're going to use I statements, all right? So let's just say, we're all tired of hearing about COVID, but yet we wanna know. Some people more than others. So here's what could happen. Let's just say you really don't wanna hear any more about COVID that day. You could say, it is not helpful for me to hear about COVID right now. Maybe later, but just not right now. Or you could say, you know, it's helpful for me. I limit myself to 20 minutes of COVID news a day and I've hit my maximum. Let's do it another time. Or finally, you could say, you know what? I'm really feeling overwhelmed right now. May we change the subject? Basically, you're not feeling guilty for how you feel and you've set your healthy boundaries and you're inviting people. You set the invitation. You're inviting people to understand what your needs are, your identity, your need, 
and what your consequences would be if people don't understand. So I'll give you a personal example. If somebody is saying um, that they're complaining or maybe they're, even that they're bored, it stresses me out for some reason because I'm not. <laughs> so what I would personally say would be, you know what, you're right. It, some days it can be really hard to get through that day. Right now, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed and I'm choosing to focus my energy on how I can be best productive today, happy and thankful for all that is around me. And friends get that, your partners get that, but you also have to know it's a two-way street and you have to listen to their needs also. I hope these are some examples to help you set the healthy personal boundaries with success on your time, your emotion, and your energy. Let me know if this worked for you or what you are currently doing. Like this channel and join me every single week. And until next Wednesday, take what you learn and make a difference with it.